Rachel Lane, second annual back to school, free haircut fest, Decatur, Alabama, AC Banks Park. Respect the shooter, Gerb TV. We out here just having a good time giving back to the community. You know, you did enough messing up the community, now it's time to give back and build the youth. I'm out. He said I'm already there. What's happening, people? We're coming live from straight from Swag Cuts, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, all the way to Detroit, Alabama, baby. Uh, we're putting on out here at the park, you feel me? Shoot, it's an annual thing, second year in the road, we doing it. Big ups to my dude LJ, create your own lane. Yes, it's real, we're coming real hard with it, as you can see. We're giving showroom haircuts outside. How better can you get it, baby? Shoot, man. I mean, to sum it up, basically, man, we, we, we really trying to show young cats, man, that is, it is more more out here, you know what I'm saying, that you can really do for yourself if you just put some work behind it, because everybody oh, really got to get a blessing, you know? So you got to use it, you know what I mean? So this is what we out here doing every year. Come to the man. This is what we do. Um, you can find me at Danville Road, 1202 Danville Road and 8th Street at Goodfellas Barbershop. Me and my dude G, Brownie, and Zay Tucker, we holding it down up there. Ours is from 8.30 in the morning until whenever we can get up out of there. Come holler at me, man. My number is 256-227-9943. 256-227-9943. You can go look me up on Instagram at Mr. Swag Cuts. That's M-R-S-W-A-G-G-C-U-T-Z. M R S W A G G C U T Z We're on Facebook that Michael Jerome Williams Jr. Michael Jerome Williams Jr. Everybody know I should know how to spell that. Get at me, man. with the mix show we are here playing a little music supporting my man with create your own lane getting free haircuts a little food for the kids just trying to have some fun and support the community you know what i'm saying come out have fun okay My name is Darwin Salam. I'm the head coach and owner of High Intensity Training Sports and as well the founder and events coordinator of local legend charity events out here in Decatur, Alabama, support John Scott's Back to School Bash, second annual. We got the three on three tournament about to kick off. Show these kids sportsmanship in the sun. Yeah, plug it. Three zip. Come on. 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 Come Showing love for the kids, man. One love. If you ain't doing it for your community, who you doing it for, man? I'd like to thank y'all for coming out to the second annual Back to School Haircut Fest for the kids, y'all. Now we're about to have the Nay Nay and Whip Dance Contest. So if you signed up, I need you to come out here right now, please. Thank you. And this is how we're going to do it. If I tap you on your shoulder, that means you didn't make the uh, qualifications. And we're gonna get down for two, we're gonna pick two, and we're gonna let them battle for the uh, shopping spree. So, let's get it going on. Do the stanky leg. 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 Bop, bop, bop. 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 Bop,
DJ, start that over from the beginning. Cause they playing right now. Hold up, hold up. We gonna start. That was the warm up right there. That was the warm up. We need y'all to really whip a name that for this money. So we gonna start it over one more time, and then we gonna start eliminating. Hey, I need somebody to come grab this mic. We're gonna help them out a little bit. Just a little bit. Just know he's going to school, y'all. What's your name, man? Brian. What school you going to? Julian Harris. Okay, what's your name, ma'am? Kaya. Kaya, what school you going to? Leon Sheffield. Leon Sheffield. What's your name? Torian. What school you going to? Austinville. Austinville. Awesome. These are the ones for the Whip and Nightmare Contest. Good job. Now go back to him. What school you going to? Give it up for these kids right here. They all got a hand out. They're beautiful. 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 It's your boy John McKissick, actor, philanthropist, ex-athlete. I'm here at the second annual free back to school haircuts. And uh, my boy John Scott invited me out here to talk to the kids, talk to the people, just motivate them, you know, give them a little bit of my story, a little bit of what I do. Just keep this thing going, man. Motivation. Create your own lane, that's what I'm doing, that's what John doing. Elevate your ground, we elevate our ground. He asked me to speak about anything specific. He just told me to talk more about my life, and I think that's fitting because y'all don't know me from a can of paint. So, a lot of times when you hear somebody's story, you can relate to them more. More so than me coming here preaching to y'all. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. So, um, I'm speaking to everybody. I'm speaking to the kids, the children, my bad. Speak to the children, speak to the adults, because the adults are raising the kids. So it's up to y'all as well as them to take in the knowledge. So I want everybody, I want all the I want all the young ladies to repeat out to me. Everybody, all grown people, young ladies, y'all ready? Yeah. I'm a queen. I am a queen. I am royalty. I am royalty. Alright, all the fellas, repeat out to me. I'm a king. I'm a king. I am royalty. <laughs> 
I am royalty. I like that. I like that. Now I need everybody to repeat after me. Greatness is inside of me. Greatness is inside of me. But it is up to me. But it is up to me. To bring it out. To bring it out. Y'all gonna see why I always start with that. Like you said, from Open Like Alabama, a lot of y'all probably know what that's at. That's in South Alabama, in Auburn, Tuskegee, Montgomery. About 10,000 people there, so I'm sick. Any six year olds there? You sick? You sick? You sick? You sick? Okay. When I was six years old, I knew what I wanted to do. So, in our, in our community, it's sad because a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people in the black community, a lot of adults, a lot of parents, when the kids tell their parents what they want to do with their life, we kind of just brush it around the rug. So when I was six, I told my grandma that I wanted to be an actor. My grandma looked at me and she told me actors don't come from Alabama. That's all she knew. She had three channels. Channel 3, CBS, Channel 9, ABC, and Channel 12, or something else, I don't remember, but... So everything she seen on TV, she knew the actors was from Hollywood. So she didn't think actors could come from Alabama. So I looked at her and I told her, Grandma, I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to change that. That's the case, I'm going to change that. So fast forward, I was six years old. I knew then it was in me. God put me for a reason to do that. It was in me then. So parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, when your kids tell you things, you, you need to take that to hint because they, they don't think they're too young. They're never too young to know what they want to do with life. So fast forward a little bit to my high school career. In high school, who liked basketball? Anybody play basketball? Old people, y'all play basketball? Go, y'all play basketball? Okay, when I was in the ninth grade, I averaged 28 points. That's a lot of points. People in the NBA average, that was real good. So I had, you know, I had a high point. Everything was going up. And then I hit a low point in my 10th grade year, I ended up breaking my leg. The doctor told me I would never play sports again. But I had put all my eggs in that one basket. So I needed to play sports, that's all I knew. That's all I knew. But what I found out when I broke my leg is that I had to put my trust in God. I had to because I didn't want to listen to that doctor. I had been, I had been hearing all my life what I couldn't do. My grandma telling me I couldn't be an actor. My teacher telling me I, I, I wasn't smart enough to make all eggs. People telling me what I couldn't do because I have a father. So I put on my faith in God and I worked my way back. It took me a year and a half to get back, but I ended up playing sports again. Earned a scholarship to Clemson University, like you said, and that's another hot. Everybody, my friend, oh, you going to college? You going to a big time school? We, we your friend. We love you. Yeah. I had another downfall. I didn't qualify. All my friends went to school. That next semester, I was at home working at a factory. Trying to, try to get a high enough test score so I can go to college. Now everybody telling me, you, 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 you sorry, you ain't gonna do nothing. You gonna work at this factory the rest of your life. You ain't going to school, you're not gonna play football, all this, I'm hearing all this. So it's another downfall. I get to college. I promised myself, I promised my mama one thing I would do before I leave college, graduate. I graduated in four years. I had a good career, decent football career. Another high, I graduated and I'm gonna go to the NFL. <laughs> Anybody know the Cincinnati Bengals? Y'all know Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, I worked out with the Cincinnati Bengals. Had a good workout. Everything's looking up. I called my mom. I'm about to get. I'm about to sign with the Bengals. Everything's looking good. I got the contract right here. They sent my X-rays, my tests, results, all that to their doctors in Cincinnati. The next day, the test results, the test results came back, and they seen that I had two tears in my ligaments. So at any moment, my knee, my knee could go out. So they didn't sign me, I got released. Before I even touched the field. Another low moment, failure. You can't play, you don't deserve to play. So what I did, I said, I'm not giving up, I'm gonna play real football. That's why I met up. I met him in New Orleans. He was playing he was playing real football, doing the same thing I was doing. Trying to get back to the NFL. Big time legends, of course. I'm here with the uh create your own lane. Haircut fest, it was a success. Of course I'm rocking with Gerb TV, but you already know that. We just rocking, you know, keeping everything 100, staying rock solid. Man, Stan Wayne right there, court six. Community out, good food, good vibe. I'm signing off, EA Decktown Legends, Gerb TV.
Hey, my name is Jawan Simpson of the 2014 Calgary Stampeders Great Cup Champions. I'm born and raised in the city of Decatur just like you are. I just want to encourage you and say good luck this school year. Keep striving to be the best that you can be. I always try to finish first, not only in sports, but in school as well. Be you. Be great. Create your own land. Hey man, it's Gerard Powers, Decatur's very own. I just want to encourage y'all to keep pushing towards your dreams and uh, continue to work hard because it always pays off. Enjoy the event. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there, but I hope you guys have a great time.